Now, if you're watching this video, you're most likely on your way to Iceland and asking yourself, when, how, and where can I see the Northern Lights? Well, I've got great news. This video was made especially for you with all my best local info and tips to maximize your chances of seeing the amazing Northern Lights. But as we all know, finding the Northern Lights can be a little bit tricky, but you can increase your chances by liking this video and continue watching. Let's get started. The Northern Lights can be seen in Iceland anywhere from August to April. If you're asking yourself, what is the absolute best month with the highest chances of seeing the Northern Lights? Well, then the answer to that question is that there isn't really one special month, but instead a full variety of eight months that all have a great chance of seeing the Northern Lights. Now, to see the Northern Lights, you'll basically just need three things. And the first thing is clear skies, because heavy cloud coverage tends to block the Northern Lights. Number two, you'll need darkness. That pretty much means you'll need to be in Iceland anywhere from August to April. And the third thing is high Northern Lights activity. It has something to do with science. We'll explain that a little later on in the video. All right, so now we know that you'll need clear skies, darkness, and high Northern Lights activity to see the lights. So like I mentioned before, the darkness part is pretty easy. You'll simply just need to be in Iceland from August to April. But how can you know which spot in Iceland and what day of the week you should choose for your Northern Lights adventure. Here you'll basically have two options. So number one, instead of worrying about monitoring the Northern Lights activity and the weather cloud coverage, you can simply just book an awesome Northern Lights tour. Now this is an option that I really recommend since you'll have local experts that are monitoring the weather and the Northern Lights activity all day long, and they'll take you to the best spot each particular night that has the highest chances of seeing amazing Northern Lights. So they'll also tell you some fun jokes, let you try some Icelandic hot cocoa and Icelandic pastries, and give you a quick photography lesson on how to capture the Northern Lights on your camera. Now you can check out and secure your spot on this Northern Lights adventure on our website. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now, option number two. Now you can also rent a car and go on a Northern Lights hunt by yourself. Now this is also a fun option and allows you to take things at your own pace and make some additional stops along the way if you'd like. Now I would recommend driving very carefully since you'll be driving in icy conditions and in darkness during the winter time. Now you'll also need to monitor the weather and the Northern Lights forecast very carefully. Now you can find the Northern Lights forecast by just doing a quick Google search, but understanding the forecast can be a little bit tricky. Now the Northern Lights forecast is basically just gonna tell you two things. It's gonna tell you which day of the week has the highest and the lowest Northern Lights activity, but it's also gonna tell you which day of the week has the most and the least amount of cloud coverage. Now the Aurora forecast will look something like this. And there are a few different things that you wanna consider when looking at this forecast. Now to begin with, you'll see a blue pin, which you can adjust to see the forecast for each day and time of the week. You'll also see a big map of Iceland, and you'll mainly want to be looking at the area around Reykjavik city, which is the bottom left corner, or the area that you'll be exploring. Now the area that you're gonna be looking at can either be green or white. So many think that the green on the map are the Northern Lights, but in reality, they're clouds. So you wanna find an area which is preferably all white. That means clear skies. Now the final thing to consider while viewing the forecast is the Northern Lights meter, which is on the top right corner of the page, and it'll look something like this. The meter ranges from one to nine and will tell you the activity levels for the night. Now you can adjust the blue pin that we talked about before to see which day or time has the highest Northern Lights activity. So from personal experience, if the meter shows a one or a two, you'll most likely want to stay in for the night or do something else instead. But if the meter shows a three or higher and the cloud coverage is pretty clear for the night, then you'll definitely want to explore the Northern Lights since your chances are quite high. I also get asked all the time if it's possible to see the Northern Lights in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. Now the answer to that is yes, but it's very uncommon 
due to the light pollution from the city lights. But if the Northern Lights activity are very, very high and the clouds are very, very clear, then yes, you can see them. And your best bet is going to a place called Grota Lighthouse, which is about a five minute car drive or a taxi ride from the downtown area or about a 40 minute walk. So if you're planning on going there, I would recommend taking a taxi. And I hope this video helped answer some of your questions and that you're super excited to visit Iceland and see the amazing Northern Lights. Now, if you have any Iceland related questions or something that you'd like to learn about, drop us a comment below and I'll see you in Iceland soon.